Hey there everybody, it's Justin from CartoonSmart.com and we're going to continue looking at some uh, super basic Swift code and we are uh, playing around in the playground uh, which just means that we can see some feedback over here uh, instantly without having to uh, publish the actual app and uh, let's uh, let's take a look at functions and we do get to call them function here in uh, Swift whereas the Objective-C way was uh, referred to as a method uh, so let's uh, let's play around with a function uh, that uh, kind of tallies up points and uh, to do this uh, first let's work with some points uh, so we'll make this an int type and uh, when you think about it, that's a good um, type for points alright uh, in a any professional game there's never a decimal value for uh, <laughs> you know the score so uh, we're gonna start this off at zero and uh, then let's write our function and uh, you get to start that off by writing the word fun and then a C after it for function and uh, we'll uh, call this function uh, points total okay and that's what we're gonna write uh, when we well when we want to call it okay uh, right now we're just setting it up though and we're not calling the function okay we're not executing it at this point uh, so when things run through here uh, you're not gonna see anything in here right now okay uh, and uh, let's uh, kind of demonstrate that I'm gonna write uh, points equals points plus one okay and uh, we shouldn't see anything over here because again we have not actually called that but what will happen uh, when we do is whatever the current value of points is we're gonna add one to it so let's go ahead and uh, come down here and just write uh, points and as soon as you start to f uh, fill that in you'll see that uh, you get some options okay it, it's either refer you know it knows now that you're referring to either that variable which is an int type and uh, that shouldn't be overlooked okay because a lot of times when you're writing your code sometimes you might have to uh, check over here and see wait 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 what is the actual type I'm referring to here uh, so that's an integer or we've got our um, our function okay and uh, notice too that it's got that little f here for function v here for variable and uh, and this void is telling us that it's that our function is not going to return anything okay and you can write functions which we will in a little bit that are going to give us something back out of it when we call it all right right now we're not getting anything out of this it is doing something but we're not taking that we're not taking any data from the function and putting it somewhere okay um, but still though it's going to serve its purpose all right and you can see now that um, it's it's telling us that uh, points is going to equal one after this initial call okay now if we come down here and we uh, just paste in points total points total points total uh, the playground is going to tell us that it's uh, it's been run four times and if we want to see the value of it what we, what we can do is write uh, print and then uh, just points in here okay and um, now you can see it's putting in here four. So uh, you can play around by um, incrementing it a different value. Okay, so now if we add in here two, what a joker! Very funny. Uh, if we put in here that uh, that's two, okay, so now we've essentially multiplied it, all right, uh, by four because we've uh, run this four times. Just give it, give up on it, all right. Just go away. <laughs> um, there's a there's some shorter ways though of uh, of incrementing uh, numbers and uh, here's one way you could come over here and write two plus signs on this side okay and uh, that's going to add one each time all right so that's a nice little short way of doing it you could also come over here and write uh, plus equals and then whatever value again that you essentially in this case kind of want to multiply it by but um, so it's gonna add three each time makes sense so it ran four times added three put that over here uh, so let's do this let's actually um, let's put in here uh, the, the value uh, to increment it by okay so to do that we're gonna pass a parameter inside of uh, these uh, parentheses right here and we uh, we do need to specify the type of this and give it a name okay so um, we'll call this uh, how about um, amount that's an easy one to think about alright and uh, we're gonna set that to be int okay and uh, yes those are correct because <laughs> now that we've set a parameter inside of here it's telling us that whoa wait a minute you I know that function wants me to put something in there okay I can't just you know leave it hanging 
Uh, so we're gonna need to put a value in and uh, of course right now in our function we're not actually using this so what we should do is put in that amount right there and of course we're still gonna get these errors until we put in some value alright so uh, just to keep it simple let's get just put in three each time now alright and we'll be left with uh, 12 again of course you know if this was like a football game that might have been a field goal that's a touchdown and now you're just being silly come on I know that seven is gonna work in there just give up on it okay so um, we started at zero we added seven three seven and three okay so that's 20 points right and uh, that uh, that math works out doesn't it now um, what if we wanted to uh, return something from this okay so uh, what we could do is put in here oops there we go uh, we'll return an int okay and you do that by putting in uh, old dash and then an arrow which kind of looks fun you know kinda, together it looks like that a, a, a very nice arrow all right and uh, the error that we're getting now is it's telling us that you're not actually returning anything you told me you were gonna return something okay so let's uh, return a new number okay now it doesn't know, know what uh, new number is so let's go and uh, say that um, uh, let so it's gonna be a constant new number equal points. We could just return points, but uh, let's try this. Okay, and uh, it's it's not uh, we're not getting any uh, issues down here. Okay, which and maybe in some sense is kind of surprising because. We're, we're still just kind of calling our function, but we're not um, making this equal to something. So uh, what we could do is uh, come over here and I'll, I'll create another variable. We'll say var, var uh, the, to oops, the total equals uh, points total. So uh, how's that look to you? Okay, so all this ends up being is a way to return kind of a maybe a convenience you'd think about back to a new variable here so oops let's go and um, now print out uh, what the total is uh, of course since we're only running this um, one time we're just now getting seven right back and you might be wondering well that's a lot of code just to <laughs> get back seven but uh, it, it hopefully gives you an idea of how you pass in a parameter use it in some way over here and then uh, make it equal to some other value. So let's uh, let's change things up a little bit. Let's uh, instead of returning a an integer, let's return a string. All right, and um, this time around, uh, we'll change this to um, I don't know, scoreboard uh, message equals, and then this will be uh, the new score is put a little space after that scoreboard message plus uh, points and I think what we have to do here is put in a string okay and then finally uh, this Oh, well, actually, that does work. I was going to say um, we should be a little bit more specific about the type here, but that's okay. It, it actually was figuring it out for us. Uh, so var, the total, um, you know, it's a string type, equals uh, points total, and seven. So we've put in here seven. That works its way in as the amount. Okay, so plus equals amount, seven. And then the new score is that's that part right here plus the string value of the points okay so we basically just converted our integer into a string by doing that and uh, that is what's getting returned this this message combined together uh, so now what we could do is um, uh, you know we could call this again um, 
And you know what? This time around, instead of making this a variable, let's uh, let's do this. Let's take that line. See how that looks? So it's returning to us just inside of this print line. Um, that message <clears throat> with the uh, score added in. So, you know, we can put this in here as many times as we want, uh, you know, and it'll keep adding it up uh, like so. Oh, we <laughs> what is, oh no, I thought it subtracted it there for a second. No, 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 okay. Uh, yeah, that is correct. It is baffling. <laughs> it's so quick to judge, aren't you? And then you had to just kind of silently disappear. First, you you know you get a little red on your cheeks by getting half transparent, and then you're gone, huh? Stupid little red warnings, errors, I should say. All right, um, does that make sense, everybody? Hope so. Uh, I think what I'll do is uh, come back in another video, talk about something different.